Hey, my name is David Popa. I'm an artist who uses raw earth and natural pigments to create giant ephemeral earth frescoes directly in nature. My process is very similar to some of the earliest cave painters thousands of years ago, as they only use water and pigments, resulting in a work that is temporary and ephemeral and washes away with the elements. I'm currently in France's wine region here in Bordeaux, at the heart of one of the most prestigious wine appellation, Margot, precisely at Chateau Gantanec Brown, a Grand Cru classified in 1855. And so I'm here to see if I can create a work of art utilizing what the earth has to offer in hopes to capture its power and mysteries. Growing up with a French mother whose family married into the wine business, I have just these amazing memories of running through vineyards, hanging out in wine cellars, and just you know, learning more about what makes a great wine. I'm definitely no expert in the art of wine, but if there's one thing that makes a wine great, the secret is the soil, the earth that it's planted in. And the earth that I'm holding here has yielded some of the best wine in the world. Gontanac Brown has already had a past link with art, as its founder John Lewis Brown's grandson was actually a prolific artist and friends with some of the most famous impressionists from Degas, Pissarro, Manet, Toulouse-Lautrec. So with so much history in the arts and a deep respect for nature, the current owner of Gantanec Brown, Tristan Lelouz, has continued this prestigious legacy by constructing his own work of art and feat of engineering, a one-of-a-kind raw earth cellar. By using the same techniques utilized thousands of years ago, this cellar will essentially be able to maintain the perfect temperature and humidity for its wine all by using simple, naturally sourced materials, the core material being raw earth, the same medium that I use for my work in nature. So naturally we thought, why not merge these two forms of art that are inextricably tied to the power of the earth, whose approaches are both thousands of years old. And let's see what kind of magic can be created on the vines of the plateau of Cantonic Brown.